Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to this week's video. You know, you spent a lot of money on that crib, I'm guessing. A lot of people spend a lot of time and effort and research picking out the perfect crib. The crib that's going to look good with your design scheme that's going to be inviting and comfortable. And then you can imagine your frustration when it feels like your baby hates her crib. Right? This happens a lot. And I want to give you some tips today for helping your baby learn to love the crib. Because I can tell you, even if it feels like she doesn't love it right now, she can and will learn to love it there. Again, sleep is one of these beautiful pieces of every day where you have tired, yucky feelings, you go into your crib and it sh you, you should see a smile on your baby's face when they get to the crib because they know this is a lovely place to go. This is a great place for sleep. And these are the sleep I have is going to make all these tired feelings go away. That is what I want for every child. So I want to first look at why it might be that your baby's not happy with a crib. The number one reason why a child might not be happy with the crib is because she's falling asleep in your arms. Right? I mean, when you have a newborn baby, there is nothing more lovely than having that child sleep on you or in your arms. I would never want to deprive anyone of that fabulous, fabulous experience. But if it starts to feel like that's the only way, right? She will only sleep if she's in my arms. It becomes a little less lovely, right? Doesn't it? When you're doing this day in and day out for months at a time, it starts losing a little bit of that fabulousness. Uh, then you know that you've created a situation where your baby really feels like she has to be held by you or on you in order for sleep to come. So we would call that a prop dependency, that she's dependent on the idea of being in your arms or on you when she sleeps. So if you're just starting out with a, a brand new baby, I want to encourage you to at least occasionally put your baby down before she's fully asleep in your arms into her crib or bassinet so that she can start experiencing what it's like to fall asleep on her own or to fall asleep when she's just drowsy and wake up in the crib. She fell asleep in the crib, she wakes up in the crib, there's nothing to be alarmed about and she'll start to just naturally develop a nice feeling for her bassinet or crib. Now if you're dealing with an older child, right, that's falling asleep in your arms or at the breast or, or some sort of prop dependency outside of the crib and then once they're asleep you transfer them to the crib, it's not really the crib that they hate. It's that they're not where they were when they fell asleep, right? If you think about it, if you fell asleep on the couch and somehow woke up in your bed, wouldn't you be alarmed? When you wonder, what's happened? Where, what, how did I get here? That same scenario happens for a baby. If they fall asleep in your arms or move to the crib, they will wake up somewhere, you know, either as soon as you get them to the crib or 20 minutes later, and be angry because they're not where they were when they fell asleep. So it's not the crib, it's just the strategy. So my advice if you want to take some steps to, to tackling this issue is to have your baby start falling asleep in her crib, uh, you know, you can be present, you can leave and check, you can stay. Uh, I've got two different options for you in the Sleep Sense program. Um, but, you, but the whole idea is to encourage a child to explore her environment, right? Get comfortable with being in the crib and then explore some ways in which she's going to fall asleep there without a, lot, a whole lot of help or assistance from you. And once she's got that, then her crib becomes a happy place to go. Now, I just want to give a word of caution that while she's learning this process, she might start crying as soon as she sets eyes on the crib because she knows that she's going to um, be put there for sleep. She's not sure exactly how to do that yet, so it can cause a little bit of short-term anxiety as she learns the steps. And that's why if staying in the room feels better for you, you can absolutely do that to, to offer some support and encouragement as she figures this out. So don't don't panic if she's clever enough to figure out, uh-oh, you started the bedtime routine. I, I have a bath. I know next is my jammies. Then I know we're going to have a story and then I'm going to that crib. She knows that. She might even start crying as soon as you pull out the storybook because she knows what's coming next. That won't last, I promise you. 
there will come a time in the very near future where she will even toddle right up to the crib and happily point to it like, I am ready to go here. And that is a great day when you see your baby asking to be put into her crib because she wants to go to sleep. Thanks so much for watching today. Sleep well.